Harrisburg's mayor wants to cut the tax dollars that go to the National Civil War Museum. News 8's Harrisburg reporter Portia Johnson explains what he wants to do with the money. The mayor calls the National Civil War Museum a failed experiment created by former mayor Stephen Reed. Every time somebody goes to pay to park in the city of Harrisburg, you're essentially helping to pay off the debt that was created uh, through the creation of this museum. He's talking millions, and the mayor says the community is not even benefiting from it. He says the museum is supposed to be using the county hotel tax dollars it receives from the Hershey Harrisburg Regional Visitors Bureau to promote tourism. On Wednesday, he told Dolphin County commissioners that money is actually going to subsidize the museum. That money, it should be noted, is used to cover basic operational expenses of the museum, including utilities for the museum. Clearly things which are uh, not uh, geared towards promoting tourism within the city of the third class. The mayor says the museum received almost $300,000 in 2013 from the hotel tax. He wants the county to freeze the allocation of this money until the city can work out a revised agreement with the Visitors Bureau. I don't think the public supports the museum. I don't think the museum caters uh, to the city. I think from its advertising materials alone, you can see that it, it can be located anywhere in the country. It doesn't promote Harrisburg in any way. The mayor says the museum only pays the city a dollar for rent when the market value is more than $600,000. Something else moved into that building and we're able to contribute the rent to the city of Harrisburg. We could use those funds to fix potholes and do all the things that we'd like to do in the city of Harrisburg. In Harrisburg, Portia Johnson, News 8. The Visitors Bureau says it will await the county commissioner's decision, adding it's legally bound by the agreement. The Civil War Museum issued a statement saying it's a travel destination of choice, attracting around 40,000 visitors a year.